And to discuss the high rate of insecurity in the country and military personnel, Elia On, I spoke with security expert Captain Yaya Umar. And I began by asking him that given that this incident follows the killing of military men in Delta State, does he see any pattern in these attacks? We have been witnessing a series of attacks against the armed forces and uh, even the security agents which has a great implication to their effectiveness. You know, when you attack the military, it's like you're attacking the nation. And uh, if you look at what is happening in the southeastern part of the country, it has been on record that uh, IPOP have already made mention of the lockdown or sit at home order during this period. Though the military were sent there to protect and uh, to stop this uh, unlawful order. So if and only if the country military have been attacked, it is a great setback to the nation's security stability. And uh, that has made the military to become vulnerable and it will add to so much complex so we are not in support of that idea and uh, we are calling on the military to dress up because this is a slap on the nation security architect. Well, the defense headquarters has mentioned that their response will be fierce and prompt. Now could you elaborate on what specific actions might be taken by the army? Uh, you know, we know the military in recent time, they have been law abiding they have been struggling to defend the civil authority though most of the challenges we are facing as we said earlier is not a military duty it's a police duty to tackle internal security but uh, by and large with this situation we know it's good the military will take a decisive action but we are telling or calling on the military to take action within the company of the law you know we had what happened in od crisis during obasanjo government we had another one in the zakibian where the military were attacked and the response sometimes is not too good enough because the damage innocent people used to be affected so if the military would take any decisive action they should investigate thoroughly to enable to push out the perpetrators of this act or their sponsors so that they will not have a collateral damage all right lastly before i let you go now how does the military plan to balance a fierce response with the need to maintain public confidence and avoid escalation first and foremost we are talking about uh, rule of engagement because that will determine the response so as i said earlier the military need to make a thorough investigation so that they will be able to balance the coup from uh, innocent civilian. And I know the military has the intelligent capacity to push out the perpetrator to balance so that they will not lose the public confidence. And we know the public generally, though with a certain event, we can say that the public are uh, with the military, but in certain action, you will now look at it that it's like there is a, there is a head between the military and even the civilian populace. The example of Banex where civilians rushed to the military and started beating them, it showed that maybe the society are not having confidence on the military. So the, the, the military using their civil public relationship, they should be able to sensitize people they should be able to you know, win the heart or mind of the citizen so that the citizen will not lose confidence on them. And uh, we need to see how uh, these perpetrators were brought to book according to the rule of law and be given judgment, fairly judgment. Well, that was retired Captain Yaya Umar speaking on the recent killing of military personnel in Abia State.